after the death of a three-year-old Clarksville girl, charges are filed against her mother and boyfriend. Cynthia Weiglib and Joseph Mansky are facing charges of neglect of a dependent resulting in death. Mark Vanderhoff is live at the Clark County Courthouse. Mark, what does the prosecutor believe happened? Well, Vicki, this probable cause affidavit details some of the abuse that Aaronsman and her sister were abused to, uh, are subjected to. Fractured ribs, children hit so hard that they were knocked to the ground. Now, Mansky is in jail here, and there is a warrant out for Wyglib's arrest. Yes, I was worried. I, didn't, I thought they was going to get by with it. Betty Dillman, the great grandmother of three year old Alexis Aaronsman, has been waiting nearly nine months to hear someone has been charged in Aaronsman's death. Aaronsman's mother, Cynthia Weiglib, and Weiglib's boyfriend, Joseph Mansky, have each been charged with neglect of a dependent resulting in death. Clark County Prosecutor Jeremy Mole says he wishes he could have filed murder charges. Uh, however, um, uh, with the evidence that I have, uh, I believe that the uh, appropriate charge, uh, the charge that I uh, can prove, uh, is the charge of uh, neglect resulting in uh, death. Weiglib and Mansky are also charged with the neglect of a dependent resulting in serious bodily injury for the abuse of Aaronsman's sister, who was four at the time. Mull says he waited months to interview her because she was so traumatized. Now she's with a foster family. They are providing a very uh, loving and nurturing environment for her there to heal and to recover. Um, but she still has a lot of trauma uh, from this event. According to the probable cause affidavit, both girls suffered severe internal and external injuries. The autopsy also says Aaron's men may have died of asphyxiation, but it's still unclear. There is some evidence that's open to the interpretation that uh, one of the children may have had uh, her mouth taped shut. Mull says Weiglib and Mansky could face up to 56 years in prison. What's done is done, and I'm just glad that the ones that done it is going to get their payback. Now, there's no initial hearing set yet for Weiglib and Mansky, but when they do appear before a judge for the first time, Mull said he is going to request that their bonds are set very high and at full cash. Live at the Clark County Courthouse, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. Thank you, Mark. Joseph Mansky was booked into the Clark County Jail this afternoon. Clarksville Police did not find Cynthia Weiglib at her current address. If you know where she is, you should call Clarksville Police at 812-288-7151.